Okay, I tried to divide it into a pound each. I'm going to freeze it, but I want to flatten it. You know what I mean, guys? Flatten it so it fits in the freezer. Yeah, like that. I'll show you when I come back. Okay, so we got six pounds of ground beef here. Yeah, six, and they're nice and flat to fit in the freezer and not take up as much room. Okay, next we do the big chickens. I got one chicken in the freezer. So now we'll have four big chickens in the freezer. And I'm going to uh, wrap them in press and seal and then put them in a freezer bag. So I'll show you after I get all this done. This will stop it from getting any kind of frost on it and being freezer burnt. So I always like to use it to double wrap my chickens in and it doesn't, like I say, get frost bit. Okay, we got three whole chickens to add to the freezer. So we'll have four, remember. I'm telling you, you wrap them in here and this stuff here press and seal and you stick them in your freezer bag it'll never get frosted it'll come out the same like the same day you bought it it's beautiful chicken I can't say enough about Costco whole chickens now we got three we'll have four in the freezer okay next is chicken boneless skinless chicken breasts what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to cut them like chicken fingers. So if I take them out of the freezer and I want to bread them up like chicken fingers, I can. Or if I want to cook them like plain chicken fingers, just no breading, I can. And it's already cut up for me and I won't be as like, oh, I got to cut the meat up. You know what I mean? So let's get busy and I'll show you how I cut it up and bag it up. Okay, as you can see. I'm just cutting them into nice strips, chicken strips, and then I'll uh, bag them up. One of the best investments you could ever make is... Oh, you scared me. <laughs> to get yourself an electric knife. It's a good investment. Hey, can you cut, shut that off for me so I don't have to touch it with my salamola hams? My, um, salam, my chicken hands. Okay, as you can see, I got my knife for my, my, uh, electric knife soaking in there in hot soapy water. Now we're going to bag these up. Uh, I, I get chills when I hear people cutting on glass, on glass, um, what do you call these things? Glass cutting boards. Oh, people panic because I cut my chicken on my cutting board, but it's not going to hurt. You're not going to die once you wash it down. Okay, so I'm going to put four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, maybe ten to a bag. Does that look good? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, there we go. Chicken strips. Good for chicken strips. Stir fry. Uh, orange chicken, if you want to make, you know, orange chicken with it. It's good for everything. And it's ready to just to go once you take it out of the freezer. <laughs> 
let's get her in the freezer. Okay, last but not least, the chicken wings. Oh boy, the vegetarians are going to be grossed out today in today's vlog. All this meat. Uh-huh. Let me package this up and I will show you when I get it done. Okay, one, two, three, four packages. Let's get them in the freezer. Okay guys, there it all is and I have a package of drumsticks on top and a package of pork chops and some beef ribs in there. And I got uh, four whole chickens in the freezer on the porch and one roast beef. Okay, so marker? we're gonna take the, uh, the marker? We're gonna take the chicken thighs and we're gonna put four to a bag. And you gotta write on them because she can't remember what they are. I don't think that marker will work. Oh. Ah. Okay, open the bag. Hold on. You're gonna be fired. I don't like working with people like you. Yeah, because, uh, come on, let's go. Put them in there. One, Move it. Two. Come on, soldier. Three. I'm not gonna have enough bags. It, yes, she will. Watch. I'm only you told put, me three bags. I'm putting four in a bag. Okay, there you go. There's one bag. Goodness gracious. So I'm going to go finish this and we're going to put four in each bag and we'll show you how many we get. Okay, people. We got five bags. One of the bag has five in it. And that's how many we got. For chicken thighs. For chicken thighs. Okay, so we got three bags of steak. I'm going to be using my hammers in and I'm flattening these out when I cook them to make it uh, uh, bigger <laughs> so we each have a piece and that'll be perfect little dinner. Those will be going in the freezer guys. This is how Michelle slices them to get two pieces out of one breast. I get two chicken breasts. Yeah. They're big enough for us anyways. So I got one, two. I'm gonna do that to the whole pack yeah, and then we'll this whole pack. package it up. These. And show you. We'll show you after. Bye. Okay, so we got seven bags of chicken breasts. It's the size we like. We don't like a huge thick chicken breast. Some of them, I think two or three have three breasts in them. And some have two. So, yeah. Don't say I don't like a big breast. Stop it, Bruce. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to make burgers. Now, uh, we like our burgers just meat. And then when I uh, cook them up, I'll put a little bit of, like, a flavor seasoning salt on them. And that's it. And I tell you, they're the best burger in the world. You do this and make your own burgers, you'll never ever buy another box burger. I'm telling you. Yeah, because it's going to taste funny. So, I don't know. I don't want them too big. I Sometimes I do them too big. So, let me fill this up and I will show you. We're just going to fill it up and... And then I'll show you guys more. Okay, so I got all my meat in there. Push it down. We're going to take this bottom off. Okay. <laughs> and bring this up. Oh, maybe not. You how to do it. When you don't do it for a while, you forget. Yeah. Ooh, she's chilly out there. Okay, come on, Michelle. Use your muscles. Bring it up, 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 up. Bring it up. Okay. 
Now, we're going to go over here and put these little waxies on this over here. We're going to put a burger on each one. I'm sure I'll find more room for burgers, but I'm going to show you I'm just a little closer. Okay. Because we're going to do it all over again. Take your burger. Drop it on the wax paper. Okay? <laughs> even they even taste like um restaurant burgers. Cause they got the shape and everything. Now I'm gonna go. Do them all, and I'll be back to show you before I put them in the freezer. Okay, so let's get these in the freezer. Okay, guys, I cannot fit any more in my freezer. So I'm going to let those freeze tonight, and I will do a whole new batch tomorrow. Because, uh, yeah, that freezer is getting full. Yeah, so I'll let those freeze overnight, and then I'll package them up. And on stacked on top of each other, just like you buy in the store. So I'm gonna keep this in the fridge till tomorrow. Okay, you guys. So this is the second batch of hamburgers, and we're just gonna place them with the other ones that we got here. And. When we want a hamburger, you can just take one out of here and cook it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go put them all in here and I'll be back. Okay, so I put it down to two and uh, I triple bag them and I'll t put a twist tie on that right here and those will be our hamburgers for the freezer. These cost $18.95 for two packages of these. And you won't regret it if you make your hamburgers like this. No. So I'm going to go get them in the freezer. And that'll be our meat order for most of the winter, I hope. We'll see how far it goes. And if you uh, want a couple more tips, I keep the main things in the kitchen, in the kitchen freezer, like the fridge freezer. The chicken breasts, the spare rib, uh, not the spare ribs, the chicken breasts, the chicken uh, fillets, the chicken thighs, um, the steaks, uh, everything like that. And then I keep the big ones like the whole chickens and the, the uh, uh, roast beefs in the freezer on the porch here. That way, and I write it down, keep it inside my cupboard of my stock. And then uh, I, if, if I have it in my fridge here, I can take much better order care of it. And I know um, what to use, you know. And uh, I don't, that way nothing gets lost in the bottom of the freezer. You know what I mean? Because that can happen. You can lose things in the bottom of your freezer. And then it'll go freezer rot. Yeah. So there's a few tips for you for freezing up your meat for winter and packaging it up. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later.